Welcome back to my channel. Today we have the iconic Trisha Payton. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, just kidding about the intro. Welcome to my channel. We're gonna be playing Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I know it's just a port from the Wii U one, but I kind of wanted to pick it up because I didn't pick it up for the Wii. Now this first stage is pretty straightforward. It's just the introduction. No puzzles here. Actually, I think it's pretty cute, just testing out the controllers. Uh, you move your Joy-Cons, and I think you can freeze enemies with a little pointy thingy. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to take a picture. So it's pretty straightforward, until now. This this scene reminds me of The Legend of Zelda <laughs> Wind Waker when Tomb Link's sister gets kidnapped by the bird. <laughs> I bet you Toad is just like, ooh, girl, 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 ooh, girl, ooh, girl, ooh. <laughs> she was trying way too hard to save that star. She should have just let go when you get to play this today from the beginning. But that's the game. <laughs> Alright, so let's start on stage number one. The Secret and the Stars. Oops, excuse me. Plucky Past Beginnings. As with any first stage, this first stage is pretty simple and straightforward. There's, I think, one enemy overall, and everything's basically laid down for you. There's really not much thinking involved in this one. I mean, you just grab uh, one of the onions that are, that are right there, and you hit the power block to destroy the uh, to destroy the blocks and get the diamond. And then you continue on over here, get these coins. The coins give you lives, I believe. And you get the onion, you hit the shy guy, and then there's a little hammer right here. I like how the noise is the one from Super Smash Brothers when you get the hammer. Iconic. <laughs> and there's a bunch of coins over here. They give you a lot. Every 100 coins gives you a life, so don't miss out on that one. Especially if you're just getting your suit controls. And there's a bunch of more points on this little flower patch here. There's really nothing special, it's just points. And then every blue toad gives you a, a diamond, so don't forget to talk to those. In the, in the stages where you encounter him. And after all the diamonds, you get the star and the stage is over. There's also little like side missions that you can do during the the stages. They don't tell you firsthand. But you can always go back and do them, and just one, if you're one of those completionists and just want to 100% the game, then I definitely recommend just playing with it twice. They don't take very long. And here, make sure you do not cross the bridge, because if you cross the bridge, then you won't get the little checkpoint, and you, you'll have to do it again. I messed up on my first playthrough of this. And I crossed the bridge and I was like, oh man, I shouldn't have crossed it. But no biggie. Like I said, these stages aren't that long to begin with, so it's just easy to always go back and do it. Plus it's cute anyways. This one's not too tricky, it's all pretty straightforward too. Except for this one, you might you wanna wait until it rotates so the bigger side of the circle is on the bottom. And it's always nice to pick up the coins. I 
And sorry if you guys get the fan. I live in California, so it's pretty hot. I think it's like 113 right now where I live. And with these guys, you could either hold them down or throw a, an onion at them to to stop them. They're not too hard to get around. See, yeah, it says this right there. Didn't destroy the temple's bridge. And I like how you get those little stamps. I haven't finished the game yet, so I don't know what the stamps do. I haven't. I didn't really like look into the game when it first came out on the Wii U. And this one, it requires you to finish the stage in three, uh, in three steps. So you just click on the things. But if you want to get the diamonds, and it requires you to lose press some more than three times. So to, so to complete it 100%, then you're going to have to do this one twice. I like the key reminds me of uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. I, I think it might be a callback to that game. I'm sorry for moving the camera around so much. I'm still pretty... I'm still getting used to the controls. <laughs> I forgot to grab the diamond. I opened the door and, and I totally forgot that I had to touch the diamond to pick it up. But I'll go back and get it right now. So far this game is pretty fun. I have no complaints with it. It's really cute too. Plus you can always play two players with this too. So you can always have a friend come and help you if you're having any trouble. Especially with the enemies, they can clear out the enemies for you so you don't have to worry about those. Oops. There we go. And lower the blue again, and we're done. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the stage again and show you how you can do it in three touches. So you're gonna want to lower the pink one first. Not lower it, but slide it. Then you raise the blue one, lower the blue one, and you're done. See, these stages aren't that long. They don't take that long, so you can basically just do them twice, and you're you're done with the little side missions. On this one. You, you'll have to kill all the enemies to complete the side mission. It d they don't tell you the side missions at the beginning, but I've, al I've already played this one. So you'll just have to kill all the enemies. They're not that hard to kill. Just sneak up behind the, the shy guys with an onion or their tulip. I should say, and throw it, throw it at them, and you're basically they're basically done. Oh, that's right. And killing the shy guys gives you the way. Those you just walk under them and wait for them to try to ground pound you. And once they've ground pounded you, they get stunned a little bit, and that's your chance to kill them. To get the second diamond here, you're gonna have to go in the first one. Not go in that one. You're gonna have to raise that one, the third one, go on top of the first one, lower the second one, and there you go. Oops. 
there's a hole in the third one that you can sneak in and go inside the little cave on the side. Let's kill this enemy. Dab on them haters. I just realized it turns the flashlight on and off. <laughs> and, yep, that's how you do it. We finished the first chapter in his book, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Alright, see you later.